Hello everyone, the 13 Scale here, also known as Scale, and welcome back to more Chrono Trigger. Heads up, if you can't handle flashing lights, this is not going to be the game for you. I'll include a link here to a retro playlist of mine that does not include flashing lights for you to go watch over there. But for everyone else, let's get into it. Take a look at the Heroes medal. If I press the right buttons, maybe. Okay, so... Because I put that on him... I'm, I'm going to put the bandana on him just for a second so I can put the hero's medal back on. Ups the critical rate of miasmine. Interesting. And I never took it off, as far as I'm aware, because I was like, I don't feel good about that. Alright. That's all back to the way it needs to be. Man, everything just... Let's stop and slow. Oh, right. There's a reason I gave you the red nail. Damage can vary. Okay. Um. I'm gonna do that one. What, what was third eye? Why do I not remember? Hold on. Oh, that upped my evade. I see. It's like, I can't remember what that did. Okay, well. Obviously, I feel like that ends that. Anything else that can be fixed? Yeah. Well, I think at this point, I can swap uh, Frog back out for Marl. So that's what I'm going to do, because I, I like this as my team. I feel like I have a solid team build with these three. I know that they're all interchangeable and like well-balanced in such a way to do so, but I just, I like these three as my team. Done for now. Oh, okay, so there's no more, no more monsters in the facility? Because they didn't say anything about there being any more monsters, so I imagine not. I'm not opening any of these chests, I'm just opening the doors and seeing what's in there. Yeah. See, I just want to make sure I'm taking out all of the monsters that are in this time. Just take them all out, please. I don't know why, but that's always going to crack me up. Yeah, I think it's important to keep third eye on Marl, then. I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed, though, that taking Magnus to Cyrus's grave didn't uh, cause anything additional to happen. Jeez, where am I going? Oh, um, if I remember right, those one things only work with magic, so I'm just gonna hit everything. Just, just take that nuke and we'll just go with it. And then I'll come back at a later point to, uh, to deal. So what you can do now is with those black boxes, you can activate them this time, but not take them out. So then you go to 1000, open the chest, and get the upgraded gear. I see. I'm still, I still think I'm gonna wait until, uh, yeah, because I'm not, I'm not touching these. I'm just gonna do it all at once, like when I'm in the future and then just play it that way. Because then if it's easier on my brain to be like, oh yeah, no, just no to every opening. I I don't know why. I can't explain it. Just <laughs> if, if we need to blame something, we can blame uh, disease brain. 
because I'm not kidding when I say that's a thing, as you guys saw, because literally I found out that day that I had it. Like, I literally got off of stream and then went and found an at-home test and took that. Okay, so I've got all the doors opened. I have fully investigated everything that there is to investigate in this timeline. So now I go to the future, come back here. I, I hear an Edgar. Is she, is she taking her nap on your lap? She's very happy. Oh, it looks cute too. Don't don't judge me like that. Sorry, hold on. Cat moments way more important. Now, if only my phone camera would load, so I could take pictures of how adorable this is. But apparently, my phone just wants to crash instead. Right, Edgar? Edgar. Thank you, Edgar. You can go, you can go back to sleep now. I, I would show it off, but I don't think my camera's gonna, like, fixate on that very well. As my, my cat just chills on my fiancé's lap. Um, I'm in the right timeline, right? I, I did jump to the right timeline. Right? I'm- it- this is this is 1,000, right? The cat distracted me. Yeah, this is 1,000. Okay. I had to, like, reconfirm before I did anything else. But it's nice to see that the- the guards are gone now. Because this is now a safe sanctuary. Got the elixir. And then... What do we got? Nova armor. What the hell is Nova armor? I, I know I can look at the stats. I'll look at the stats in a second. I just want to open all the chests first and then ooh and ah simultaneously at everything that I've gotten. Siren. Hang on. Oh god. Did I, is it too late? I'm gonna look at the feedback. Oh, I gotta activate the box in the past. I see. Okay. So I already screwed that up with two. Uh, but... I say there's still one left. So I'll go back and do that. I see. Well, I screwed up for one. So, back to the past. Sorry, I had misunderstood what that meant. Like, I thought that, like, it didn't matter what timeline they got activated in. But apparently that's not quite true. So... I may have just gotten rid of Marl's best bow. Okay, hold on. We're loading. We're loading the safe state. I don't remember where this takes me, though. Okay, this takes me all the way to back before... Back before we uh, solved issues with Frog. So, we're gonna go back and we're gonna... We're gonna fix this. So, I'm not gonna read through everything again. Um... I'm still taking the same team, but we're not going to read through everything again because I just had taken care of that. So, let's go get... Thank God for save states, by the way. <laughs> but I'm going to know to save state it after I get Cyrus. I like that he does the first one for free. And I guess that explains why the later ones cost money. So, now we go in.
and we go do it for we go do it for two. Yeah, I know. Can't can't take care of what the monsters are available for. Which is fine though, because now I've got a way to kill these monsters quickly. So we've got that. Okay, that's the next hole. That's the next repair. But that's fine. That also means that I've gotten like literally nothing. I don't know why I did that. I mean, this is fine because I can do Luminaire and that'll just like take care of everything quickly. Yeah, much easier, much better. I also feel like I missed out on important notifications trying to take pictures of my cat. Just wanted to make sure that there was nothing important on here. Nope, nothing important. My G fuel's on its way though. Which is good, because I got the confetti cake, which will be great whenever I can taste things again. Because, you know, I can't wait for that. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing Luminaire because there's no reason not to. Like, it's not like I have to save everything up for like some big final battle in this area. I can just go in and take everything out. And then once I've gotten all the way through that, um, I'll go, we'll jump through Frog's dialogue again. And then, I guess, activate everything. And then we'll go back to the present time and we'll just open everything up then. Good to know, though. I wasn't aware that in order to get, like, the better upgrades, you had to activate them first and then go into the future. I thought it was... Lit that you could just be like, oh, yeah, no, instead I will just only open this in... in 1000. If that makes sense. Well, I was going to say, while I'm here, I could just activate them, but there's holes still, so I can't. Not yet. All right, let's go. All right, before I go too crazy, uh, save state it so we don't have to do that again. Yeah, it's weird that they never bother to explain that mechanic. I mean, I... I wonder if that's something that gets explained in like a issue of Nintendo Power that just doesn't, you know, what, like that you'd be expected to be like, oh, this is a cool little nod for people who have the the magazine or whatever, and like that's how you would find out all these cool secrets because that's how you used to do it like back in back in the old school days anyway. Done for now. Okay, there's still monsters about. Those other holes aren't fixed, but. Magnus's victim is. So let's go back and we'll do that. And then we can just pop through this dialogue. So that should then... Oh, that's right. I have to re-equip everybody's gear. Because I didn't, I didn't even think of that. I forgot to re-equip the gear. Hi, Edgar. She, she looks very comfy, by the way. But yeah, so that's the only, that's the only thought that I have about that. I, I think it's really interesting as a concept, too. The way that the internet has taken over for, like, the Nintendo Power magazines in terms of, like, finding out this information. Like that instead of relying solely on like the company to provide you with this information anymore you have instead uh, the collective efforts of an entire community of gamers who love and appreciate the same game that you do the same way that you guys are giving me direction for this game in like that same exact manner is kind of like what I'm talking about. You also see a lot with like the Five Nights at Freddy's community, which is why it's got so much love, is it's a whole like group conscientious effort towards solving and answering 
the the mysteries and the the story that is that game. I also want to think, by the way, that Magnus is over there blushing <laughs> for no reason than because I want to. Um, but yeah, like I I've I thought about that ever since I was like first playing through Skyrim because I think Skyrim was the first game I ever like thought to Google the answers to a puzzle. And it was because I remember one or two of them were like giving me particular problems and it was needed to do it to pass the, the story. And I just couldn't explain what I was doing wrong in any way. So I think it's, I think it's nice. I still just want to read the, the tab again. All right, so now we go and we rebuild another part of it. And then I think all we should really have to worry about is getting the stuff to be able to go in and like go save Magnus's sister whose name is escaping me for some reason. Shala. I think her name was Shala. Either that or Shala was Magnus's other name, but I'm pretty sure it was Shala. It's it's been a long time since I've had any kind of interaction with the name. So there is that. Alright, now we can go on through. So I'm gonna go activate it. Because we're still in the correct time. Something is reaching out to the pendants. Take the contents. No. Interesting. So that's why that prompt comes up. That makes more sense. I'm loving this luminaire, by the way. I don't use it that often because most of the time I'm like, there's no reason for me to be burning through my MP this quickly. Even with like, Chrono only taking half of it. Man, I love just making quick work out of these guys. <laughs> If I never had to worry about MP, that's definitely something, like that's definitely something I would hardcore consider. Just using that constantly. All right, we got one more set. We activate them and then after that, we come back from the future and open them all. Although now this just makes me want to watch Back to the Future. Again, every time I play this game, my like thoughts go straight to that movie. All right, so we activate these. No, don't take out the contents. Activate. And no. Okay, get away from it before you screw this up again. And... Almost free. Almost out. I'm also going to swap out... You guys... And then I'll look at everyone else's items after we've uh, done the big shift. I got all the other new items. Because then I can just do everything in one mass fell swoop. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw here today. Be sure to hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I upload another episode of Chrono Trigger. Take care everybody.